Have you been wondering what all the hype is about with iBuyers? Or as we typically know them as cash investors? Hey, I'm Lazar Marcani with Remax Early in the Marcani Group. And I'm here today to share with you some information on how iBuyers work. So iBuyers have two types of costs. They have the hidden costs and unhidden costs. So what's the hidden cost? The hidden cost on selling to an iBuyer is lost equity. On average, lost equity to an iBuyer is 10%. So if your home is $250,000, they're going to offer you 10% less in order to be able to buy your home, sell it to a new buyer, and have a profit, and able to carry the home. So 10% on $250,000 is $25,000 just in hidden costs. So what is the unhidden cost? iBuyers take it a step further and they're going to charge you a fee to sell your home to them. So they call that the service fee. Service fees range from 7 to 14%, on average they're 7.3%. So 7.3% on $250,000 is $18,250. So if we add $18,250 and $25,000 in lost equity, your cost to sell to an iBuyer is $43,250. On the other hand, the traditional method or using a realtor, your commissions are 6%. On average, obviously commissions vary, 6% of $250,000 is $15,000. So the traditional method of selling uh, with a realtor is $15,000 cost to you. The iBuyer method is $43,250. The difference is $28,250. I don't know about you, but it means I would rather save the $28,250. That allows me to have money for my down payment on the new home. That allows me to pay for moving expenses, any closing costs for the new home. So that $28,000 can go a long ways. So I don't know about you, but I'd rather show my home and make additional uh, income. However, it's up to you. Is it worth showing your home for the additional $28,000? Or do you rather not show your home and give up $28,000 in equity? If you have any questions about iBuyers, how they work, feel free to message me on Facebook, direct message me, or follow the information below to contact me.